All right. Well, thank you, Lisa, for joining me today. I appreciate you being here and telling us your story about how you quit smoking. Um, just to give us a little background, how long ago did you quit smoking? Um, it was actually back in June. Oh, wow. So recently. Yeah, just five months ago. So that's like a difficult, that's like a very difficult time to quit smoking, I would think. Like, that's what? COVID hit us in March. You quit mm -hmm. smoking in June. What, like, would possess you to quit smoking right in the middle of COVID? Um, you know, I mean, I, I was, my neighbor, she was actually quitting at the same time. And we're, you know, good friends and hanging out all the time. And we just kind of decided, like, let's do this, you know, and we did it together. Um, you know, I've been wanting to quit for a while. Um, you know, I actually, I, I've, I've been smoking on and off for a while. You know, I quit, you know, for five years once. And then, yeah, and then I started smoking again. Uh, and then I started going through my divorce last year. Okay. Um, this was like January of 18 is when I started back up again. And um, it was just like in June, it just kind of hit me like, why am I doing this? Mm -hmm. Son, I gotta take care of. You know, I need to be healthy for my son. And my friend and I, we just decided, like, let's do this. Well, that's fantastic. We supported yeah. each other through it. And what great friends to like be able to do that together. That's wonderful. So, how did you guys do it? Like, do you have any tools and tricks that you used? Uh, we just did it cold turkey, honestly. We, we just we're not buying anymore. Let's do this, stick together, and we were each other's support system, and you know, we just did it together. You know, um, that's really the only trick to the trade that we had is have someone with you that will support you through it. You know, whenever I was craving one, I'd be like, Marlene. <laughs> like, help me, I need one, you know, and then, you know, like, we just talked each other through it, and we, we did it together. That's so. wonderful. So, since you have stopped smoking, what benefits have you seen? Like, any mental benefits, physical benefits, anything like that, that you've seen that, um, that you would pass along to others? Um, I breathe a lot better. I can tell you that. You know, uh, I've talked to three people so far. I talked to Liz, her, Roxy, and you, and all three of them have said like the breathing is the number one thing that they can tell a difference in their breathing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I actually taste my food a lot better now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like it, I guess it kind of like numbs your taste buds a little bit, or. Uh, but yeah, like food tastes so much better now. <laughs> That's <laughs> one. This may be why people gain a little bit of weight when they quit smoking because oh like, Ooh, food, it tastes That's so good. All right. That's all right. Over the longer term, there's much better benefits. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> you get to enjoy your food, so. Yes, yes. It, uh, food definitely tastes much better. I can actually taste it. Um, I mean, I just like, I don't smell like smoke anymore. Yeah. You know, like, I, I don't, I actually smell like me, like lotion and, you know, whatever. <laughs> like, I don't smell like smoke anymore. I don't taste the smoke anymore. Uh -huh. so. That's awesome. So for other RDIers out there who might be looking to quit smoking, what advice would you give them? Um, be strong. You can do it. Um, if you feel like you just can't, like a, you know, like I did, grab a friend. You know, have someone be your accountability partner. Um, that's really one of the best ways to to do it. Have someone hold you accountable. I think that's yeah. good advice. And I know that we probably have lots of RDRs out there that want to quit smoking. So find a partner um that can support you through it and good luck we hope um lots of people out there can find a way to quit smoking this month thank you so much lisa we appreciate you you're welcome i'm always happy to help